Get Set View. Little Nemo the Dream Master for the NES. Developed and published by Capcom, it was released for the NES in September of 1990. Designed by Tatsuya Minami and produced by Tokuro Fujiwara, you take control of Little Nemo and have to save the King of Slumberland from the King of Nightmares across several dreams so you can become victorious. You control Nemo by moving him around with the D-pad, the A button makes him jump, and the B button makes him throw candies. As the story goes in 1905 New York, a Zeppelin-type aircraft goes to Little Nemo's window with a messenger inviting him to Slumberland by request of the princess who presents him with candy. Sounds trustworthy, I suppose. In each dream, like I said, you must traverse the differently themed dreams, making it to the door at the end while avoiding the monsters that inhabit them. Some enemies you can stun by throwing candy at them, while others you can feed and get them on a delirious sugar rush, which then either allows you to ride or become those creatures a la Adventure Island 3 or Kirby's Adventure. These creatures can give Nemo numerous new abilities like higher jumps, climb walls, or even fly. Some will give you a defense against enemies like using the B button to punch, but not every creature can protect you, so be aware of that and whenever you want to stop writing or being a creature you can press the select button to go back to normal Nemo. In the dreams you'll encounter other beings that'll give you advice or advance the plot and you must also be on the lookout for keys as they'll be your only way to unlock the exit door at the end of the level. When you have the right number of keys to unlock it you'll move on to the next dream with increased difficulty in between getting scolded for your sleeping habits but if you get hit by anything you'll lose a portion of your health. Lose all your health and you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives and the game is over. But you can easily get health back by finding health packs, potions, and 1-ups. And if you can make it to Dream 8 with your newly acquired Morning Star and defeat the Nightmare King, you'll have saved the dreams of many. Overall, this is a unique yet fondly remembered NES title. Quite impressive for a scarce newspaper comic strip to get a game. This was actually based on a 1989 movie that apparently went through a lot of shit before releasing in theaters. But at least we got a decent game out of the whole thing. And stop. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.